After a very challenging start to this tragic fire, yesterday we began to make progress in our fight to contain the inferno that was sweeping across the Table Mountain range. It was coincidental that we were currently testing a new technology for aerial surveillance that was made available to us from a private company, which we were then able to deploy at the time. This technology utilizes a manned glider that circles overhead for several hours at a time while using long-range thermal and CCTV imaging that is separately controlled by an operator on the ground based at the Incident Control Center at the Ruland Street Fire Station. The plane carrying this imaging technology was deployed at an altitude well above the height where the severe winds were preventing the use of helicopters for aerial firefighting. With this eye in the sky, teams were able to immediately identify new fire jumps or the so-called spotting of the fire that occurred in strong winds where embers were propelled to ignite new areas of vegetation. And this allowed us to instantly activate the ground resources to the precise location. And in doing so, we were able to prevent new flare-ups from escalating into blazing infernos. Today, with the absence of strong wind, we systematically took to water bombing the targeted hotspots while our eye in the sky provided coordination from above the helicopter flight paths. At the moment, ground crews are monitoring various areas while a massive cleanup operation has commenced. Effectively, the fire is contained and under control and some of the roads are being reopened. We are very grateful to the private sector for this generous offer and allowing us to use this technology at a time when we really needed it most. It certainly aided us in battling and containing this inferno, which caused such considerable damage.